Hello and good morning, Mr. Fletcher. How are you doing? Oh, not too bad, Mr. Carter. Yourself? Yeah, very good, thanks. Very, very good. Yeah, very good. Guys, we're on the 15th hole today at Davy Hume Park Golf Club and we're playing something a little bit interesting. We're going to play three, four hole vlog with three clubs. So, what have you got there, Fletch? What have you brought with you? Going to go with a rescue. Yep. What number is it? A four iron, five iron? Three iron. Three iron rescue. That's the one. Uh, what else have we got in there? And then we've got a pitching wedge and then the trusty carbide. ZG, what holds <laughs> everything at Stockport Golf Club. Oh yeah, that's Boom. the one. That's the one, majestic. I am gonna go, it's probably something quite similar. I've got a four iron, pitching wedge, oh sorry, four iron, nine iron. Oh, you took the nine. Yeah, Ooh. I took the nine, I went nine iron. Is that a mistake? No, four <laughs> iron, nine iron putter. Because I'm thinking, four iron down this hole, which is 321 oh. holes, 21 holes, 321 yards, will leave me well, it's actually into the wind, so it's probably going to leave me another four iron. Um, so I'll have to hit two nine irons. I, I know what you thought. You thought when oh. you get on hole 17, Correct. you've got the right club. Correct. So I get to hole 17, which is just across there on the tee. It's 150 yards, yeah. par three, slightly downwind. So I'm thinking little nine iron onto there. So I might have one hole sorted. I'm going to beef a wedge there. You're going to hit a wedge. It's probably too fair. It's downwind. It probably is a wedge. <laughs> Right, so we're going to tee off. We're going to have to go the comp tees, we're going to have the back sticks. So we're going to tee off. Fletch is going to go first with the old trusty hybrid. The line is straight over that kind of long left tree, just left of it. Summer's not quite here yet, so there's no leaves on it, so it's quite bare, which is a bit of a bonus, I suppose, today. We're probably looking at trying to knock these around about 200 yards, which would leave us around about the 120 in, into the wind, which would probably look after Fletcher's wedge quite nicely, or, our, or my 9-iron. Alright, quick, straight over the top. Oh, he's nailed it. Great shot, straight over the top of that left tree, and safely in the fairway. Alright, Carter, are you going to follow me? Bit of breeze into, find the fairway if you can. Not bad. Not bad. First shot of day, we'll take that. Gotcha. What have you left yourself into this beautiful hole? So I'm 130. 130, yeah, okay. So I'm, the wind's died down, I could do it coming back a little bit just to give me that 10 yards. <laughs> Um, I've, got, I've got nine iron in hand, so it's probably not a bad distance. He's got a lay off here, totally. Yeah. If you just look a bit further up, guys, you see my ball there. I've done Carter by about 30 yards there. Boom! Can't say that every day. You've got a two iron hybrid. Yeah. Oh, he's played it well. Oh, Is it coming well. back? Is it coming back? Ah, uh, it's safe, just short of the bunker. Just missed the green. It stayed dead straight. Yeah, you'd be good there. Right, Fletch, you're just a bit further up than me. So you've got about 110 or so into the green. About 110 to the flag. Perfect for easy wedge. Easy little wedge. My, mine's just been high, pin high. Fletch in the driving seat though. If we can get this onto the green, he's dancing. Get this one close, make birdie. Good start. Oh, it's all over it. Is it the right distance? Oh, he's big. Oh, he's gone big. He's at the back of the green. The flag's towards the front. Fletch has just gone up towards the back of the green. That's so, monstrous long for me. Distance control. Distance control with more club is key. That's why this vlog is so in interesting. It's tracking. It's tracking. You got it. <laughs> that would have been a nice start, Oh, great it? effort. Unbelievable putt. Decisions, decisions. Decisions, decisions. That's the one. It's a tricky little chip and run this though, if we've got a 9-iron. I'm actually going to be crazy and go putter. Going to go with your putter, be extra yeah. safe. Don't blame you. Yeah, just get a decent strike on the putt, get it onto the green, roll the par in. Got a lot of grass to get over though. Okay. I'm trying to read a bit of break. Oh. Relatively happy with that. 
<laughs> the worst in the world. I got gotta say now I am actually quite happy we were playing stroke play. Thank you, are you pretty much in So what are you seeing here, Carter? Seeing the hole. Hole, hole that and hole. Hole, that's it. I would be ecstatic with a par now to see how close your marker is. Right edge and firm. Yeah, I think so. Oh. Wow. Guys, I can only put that down to pressure, knowing that I was in for four. I played it to the right edge. Bad read. Got a par five now, par 30 chance for you. Hopefully. Go on, go and tap yours in. Tap mine in. It's as good as a gimme, but it's stroke play. Solid. <laughs> <laughs> so level and one over. Level and one over as we head to the next. Oh, yes, definitely. Right lads, yeah. got James Greenkeeper here. I've <laughs> seen him in 10 years. Just found out a bit. Had a few pork pies. <laughs> say, say a big hi James. Hi, how are you doing? And who's behind you? Peter McNipple. Peter McNipple. <laughs> Right, I thought you're under pressure now, mate. Yeah, yeah, gotta show, show him how it's done. It's been 10 years. I'm alright to go away. Eh? Yeah, yeah, fire away. Hybrid out. Hybrid, nice smooth swing. Uh oh. That is aggressive. Right down the right edge. It's landed. Could actually be good. Hmm. What have you got in hand? Four iron. Four iron. Ooh. Right away. Okay. A slight draw on the ball there. Kaboof. Oh, thank you, James. <laughs> so, James, I'll see you in the pub later. Uh, no, I'll be at the chippy more like. <laughs> okay. Banging on the door, waiting for it to open. <laughs> All right, mate. See you soon. Somehow Fletch has got through the trees because I wasn't having that. But I was thinking he'd be stuck in there. That's where the T is right directly behind. But he's out. Guys, just remember trees are 90% air, 10% <laughs> wood. Yeah, that's, that's fair enough. Go through them. The lie's not looking fantastic though, is it? No, it's sitting down. Sitting bro. down into the rough, and you've got hybrid or a wedge. So he's out with the hybrid. Yeah, I'm going to have to swing a little bit steeper. Put across it. Steep angle attack into the ball. Hopefully she pops out nicely. Nice. See. So I've made contact. Not been able to catch it full. It's gone down there though. Just going to be short of the green, but good chance of hopefully getting up and down for birdie. Right, guys, Hello. got Mr. Cart over there. He's got to consider this popular just here and also that big tree. He's going to be trying to feed in it through nice and low. So he's gone the same direction to me to the right hand side. We'll have a look when we get down there. Right, Carter? Yeah, this is probably the wrong side to miss it. Both of us are both pretty close to each other. Yeah. It's definitely the wrong side to be missing this on. See so going through the trees. <laughs> Again, awesome camera angle. I, um, I've got a 9-iron, that's all I have. So, okay. I was thinking, do I turn myself into a wannabe Seve and open Ooh. the club face and flop it over the Ooh. bunker? But then I thought, if I was maybe a high handicapper in this position, hmm. Here for two, near the green on a par five. Yeah. Try and do my best to make a five or a six. So I'm gonna actually gonna play a little chip and run shot to the right side of the bunker. Okay. If I can get it. If I'm lucky, I might catch the edge of the green. If not, I'm hopefully just gonna get up and down from a par. So you're not so gonna play it over because no. it probably will land on the green and run through anyway. 
Well, that's if I get there. The percentage is I'm probably going to hit it in the bunker. Right. So I'm actually just going to aim just right of it on the apron of the bunker. And just if I can hit the green, amazing. If not, hopefully I'm in a position to get up and down. So I'm going to play the percentage shot. Okay. So you've got 99, I'm going to put the back of my stance, hopefully let it run a little bit through the kind of semi rough. Oh, nearly. Nearly. Just what? rolled off to right there, guys. That bounce. Nearly. That bounce would have been a little bit straighter, it'd have been on the green, but I've got a little chip and run now from the par. And a bit of chip and, chip and put my, um, my par. I'm just to the left here, guys. There you are. You've got a wedge, have you? I've got a wedge, sir. Mm. You've got a bit more bit more loft than me so you can might be able to make a slightly easier selection but not really well i don't have a choice i have to fly it over yeah if you look if i get a better angle on you you've got nothing but bunkers to go over so opening the face trying to make it into a sandy yeah. sanded lob wedge one thing going in my favor it is slightly uphill very slightly maybe five to ten degrees but that's gonna give me a little bit more loft so open it up yeah and just feel as if the hands are the club head's passing the hands at impact. Oh, oh heavy. Oh. No. <laughs> heavy and in the bunker. That was one place not to miss it, Fletch. I know. Problems. Problems. Right, Fletch now with his fourth shot in the bunker, uphill live, pitching wedge in hand. Obviously, he's going to help him with the loft, I suppose, but the stance it looks a little bit awkward. Yeah, just going to have to explode through the ball, hit the sand only. Lots of power, great club head speed. Oh no. Uh oh, uh oh. This has got double bogey on the cards, hasn't it? It has indeed. Let's see. This comes, this comes felt like a good idea about an hour ago. Well, after the first all, it felt like a great idea. <laughs> I don't know what's happened. Alright, <laughs> chip it in for par. Right, Fletch for par now. What an interesting, in interesting turn of events that has been needs this that decision of yourself before it looks like it could pay exactly i feel like i've gone for more the, the safer shot the more percentage shot still got my chance of par this is for this is for a par it's traveling it's not gonna be it's not gonna be enough oh it is enough that's a great little touch actually i thought i was gonna be short so carter's got the putter out look at him yeah, the bank's a bit big for a 9-9 chip and run. Alright. So get it up and over the hill. A little bit right to left. My, my first putt on the last one didn't feel too bad, so... I'm going to three foot again. Oh. Whoa. Zip, Slightly too aggressive. I, I gotta say, I'm absolutely loving this competition now. We're gonna have to do it more often, I think. Guys, if you're liking this, give it a thumbs up. Also, write some comments if you're enjoying seeing us struggle with three, three clubs in the back. <laughs> Certainly struggling. Right, pop up. A little bit left to right. Six, well, another bogey, I should say. Got it. Another bogey. So you what? This goes in. I'm gonna feel like a. It's gonna be a good bogey. This. Gonna feel like it's a. Is it birthday or Christmas? Christmas has already been at Sandy Way, so we'll say it's my birthday. Woo, two sixes. Got away with a six. I got right. Very lucky there. Fletch one over. Carter two over. Game on. Right, we've come to the 17th here at Davy Hume. Par three, 147 yards. It's playing downwind. The flag is up in the I'd kind of back. Second third. Yeah, two thirds of the way up the green. Fletch, you're out with a wedge, aren't you? Because that's all you've got. Yeah, normally for me, it'd be 9-9 with this wind. But I'm gonna have to try and somehow squeeze the pitching wedge all that distance. Good boof it. Good boof it, it's gonna have to be Pure, absolute pure contact. I'm going to play the ball back in the stand, hands forward to try and de lock it a little bit. And I'm just going to hit it as hard as I can. Oh, could be good. Get up. Short. Uh, weak. Uh, weak. 
free club comp. I need Excuses. Nine, nine. Excuses. That's the one. Hit it well. Bounce right, bounce right. He's in the driving seat on this hole. Not the best, bit short. Right, we've just arrived short of the green. Fletch is back out with a pitching wedge. I'm just over his left side there, I'm on the green. But we've both got a bit of distance to go. Up to the flag, Fletch out of the pitching wedge. Little chip and run, Fletch. Chip and run. Can't do much else. Having said, I've got a lot of green to work with, so it's actually probably a good club to have it. Yeah. So. Let's see how I can play this one. Weight left. Try and play it halfway and let the rest roll. He's allowed for a bit good. of the left to right break. He's read the break. Could be good. Yes, great distance control. Great thing about that shot, guys, is I've left it low of the hole, so my next shot, my putt is going to be an uphill putt, so I can be aggressive with it. So Carter's got a left to right putt. I'll leave the flag in here for you guys, so you can just see where, where he's going to come with this one. Pace is looking good. Come on, turn, turn. So he's also in a good position, left it close with an uphill putt. Well done, partner. Nice meeting up. Yeah, just hit with a bit too much pace. I think I had the line. It's a bit hard. Oh. Two puts for par left. Pretty good. Well in, great up and down. Take that. Happiness. Happiness. Happiness in a putt. Alright. <laughs> Alright Pat. Got a little right to left. Right to left though, okay. We're gonna keep it inside the hole on this one basically last Greens are quite quick aren't they? Yeah they're in great condition. Ah, yeah. Two, two good pars there. Well done. Well done. Settled the shit. Two pars. <laughs> right. On to the last hole of the 18th. Yeah. Right. We're on the 18th hole. It's 338 yards here off the back tees. Fletch is obviously out with his two hybrid again. Still I've one. got the four iron. We are headed straight over that bag in front of us. It's just this duels with the practice range, so it's kind of a nice little target for us. That's the one straight over the bag. All right, good tee shot, put some pressure on Carter. Yeah, there's one shot in this. Oh, perfect. Got boofed. Really? Down the middle. All right, so it's 3.30. I've got a 9-iron in my hand. Okay. I don't want, I don't want to hit this like 190. <laughs> Did you just say you got a 9 iron in your hand? No, 9 sorry, 9 iron for the second shot. Oh, right, yeah. Got me confused. I was like, why are you not hitting your 4? You're going to hit 9 iron 4 iron. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice smooth swing. Straight down there. It's the one. Couldn't have placed them both better. Yeah. So guys, we've both ended up in perfect pin positions. Club edge just clubhouse just to our right. You see there's a lovely bunker here which traps a lot of golfers. So they try to miss that bunker, but then the thing is if you have too much club, you get too close to these trees on the left and then you won't have a shot into a green. That's why I was worried about the tee, but we're okay. Yeah, we've turned out good. I'm a little disappointed in myself now. In hindsight, I've chose the wrong, I brought the wrong club really. I brought a nine iron. And for three shots so far today, I should have had the wedge. I should have hit wedge right. off the last tee. I should have hit wedge from a third shot on the par five and I should have hit wedge from the second shot. Mm. So I need, I need a wedge now as well. So guys, play three club comp, choose wisely. <laughs>
Right, so I'm going to play a little punch and run with an iron iron. I can get it landing short, or shut front edge of the green to play it release, but... 120. Watch it, 120, okay. Yeah. Back of my stance, we're just going to squeeze it out. So I played it nice and low. Spin left, spin left. That was done tonight. Yeah, good shot. Thank you. I like that shot, actually. Yeah, I do actually. <laughs> Especially, you know, imagine playing uh, the links courses. Yeah. Getting me ready for the open qualifying I entered yesterday. Ah, we did yesterday. Yep. Good match. So, I've got 118 then. <laughs> That's out of 120. I'm not getting the bus all out, I believe in you. Right, okay. Let's see if we can put this one close. Pitching wedge in hand. Oh, it's a bit of a, oh, you jammy, lucky, unbelievable. I am not happy with that. He's thinned it through the edge of these trees and it's, because it's not quite a full on thin, it's one of them ones that's had a little bit of check on it and it's finished about, looks about six to eight feet away. If I'm gonna be disappointed slightly with this shot, it's past the flag. If it was short, I'd be happier. Shut up. <laughs> I like to feel a bit cheated there. Why? You thinned it through the trees. Thinned it through the trees. Got me. Through a tiny little branch. It was, it was the goal. That was my target. To go exactly through that branch, them branches, and just put it inside you. Unbelievable. Right. Guys, I must admit the shot carter, I was pretty impressed with it. It's lovely, well controlled nine iron. Kept it lovely and low. Nice bit of check on it. But what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> Still a lot closer. Yeah. Right. Last putt of the day, this. Well, you need it to put pressure on me. I need this to get back to one over. Yeah. Ah. Just race through the break, eh? Oh, yeah, again. Right. right. Much faster greens than what we've been playing on recently, just with the weather just started to dry out a touch. Yeah. Oh, very quick. Right, this is for. Oh, he's got two putts for the win, I suppose. But yeah, so what do I do? Do I want to go level or do I make sure I get the win with a two? Go, on, go, go level. Go level. That's what I was thinking as well. After such a horrendous second shot, you deserve to be level past. It wasn't that horrendous, actually. <laughs> it's just a tad, tad thin that was up. Tad, tad horrendous. He's actually still off the face, not off the, the leading edge. Tad, tad horrendous. Roller him. Oh, come on. Pulled it. I didn't pull it. It's not been pulled. <laughs> oh. Right, Fletch wins. Fletch yeah. wins. What? One over and plays two over. One over, two over. We're going to do this again. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, this was just a very quick four hole vlog, but we're going to do it again for maybe nine holes somewhere else. So if yeah. you enjoyed this vlog, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel because we will go and do this again because I, I, I enjoyed filming it actually so I hope you've enjoyed watching it as well. Yeah, it's a good challenge about creativity. If you do this yourself as well, you know, send something through to us. It'd be interested to know what you guys write some comments down below. Don't forget, subscribe. Click the, the bell for notifications. Check us out on our social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Right guys, we'll see you again soon. Bye -bye. Oh. 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 Oh.